walk you through my setup for Circus Dumbbell Press today. Um, in terms of starting press, you're going to have to get the dumbbell off the floor. So I'm going to talk about first how I clean the dumbbell. And there's a couple different ways you can get it from the floor to your shoulder. In terms of efficiency, you can keep the dumbbell really close to your body and pull it up with your arms. But in my case, I tend to have more of my power in my lower body. So I have found a way to clean the dumbbell from the floor that saves some of the energy from my shoulders, lets me use the power from my hips to pop it up onto my shoulders. So instead of cleaning the dumbbell from my center, like underneath or between my feet, like a lot of people use, I take a step back and away. Then I'm going to be able to hinge back, hands in the center of the dumbbell, and I just stand up with the weight. Okay? When I stand up, the dumbbell is going to sink back into my hip, and I'm going to create a fast hip extension similar to a kettlebell swing to drive up. So, just to give you an idea of what that looks like for comparison, the kettlebell swing, weights out in front of the center, hinge back, arms long, stand through, and pop forward. Okay? So just like when you catch the kettlebell and drive up, you're going to do the same motion with the dumbbell, except instead of letting it swing back or out in front of you, I'm going to keep the arms close and pull up, curl it up into the shoulder position. Back, arms straight and long, and pop through. Once I've made it to the shoulder, I'm going to find my rack position. Once I've, got the, once I've done the work to get the dumbbell up to the rack position, the biggest, most important piece of making this press strong and efficient is finding a really stable rack position. So for me, that's going to be somewhere in between a full forward elbow position where I have control over my shoulder blade, but also not quite all the way open because I don't want to have some control over the rotation. So for me, that's somewhere around 45 degrees here. And depending on the size or length of the dumbbell, I'm going to angle my elbow upward. That's to move the center of the mass of the dumbbell closer to my midline so it's not hanging out outside my shoulder. Once the dumbbell is set in the rack position, elbow open and high enough to get the center of weight over my body, the key to getting a really powerful press is to be able to transfer all the power I'm going to use in my legs from my jerk drive into the press overhead. So my biggest priority in terms of holding the rack and initiating my press is making sure that this angle here between my elbow and my body doesn't change. Okay, so in this rack position, I'm very active. I'm thinking about pulling down packing the shoulder blade here, and lifting and rising up with my elbow and my armpit. Okay, so all of that position is active. It's not a, a passive resting position. Once I'm in that position, thinking about driving the elbow up, keeping the shoulder packed, keeping my ribs level so that my core stays tight, and as I drive down, slow and steady enough to keep a totally straight angle of my torso, and then drive up fast through the jump, and all i got to do is catch up. So sometimes with the circus dumbbells, especially these large flat like cylinder ones, you're going to have a really smooth edge and depending on where that angle of stability is for me, it just so happens that that edge sits right on the top of my bone. So besides it being a little bit uncomfortable, it can be a little bit slippery. So one of the other things that I do is I'm actually going to get the rack position, find where it feels stable, I'll loosen my grip just a little bit in the hand and actually rotate my elbow forward underneath the dumbbell just to create some extra torque on the grip to prevent it from slipping behind. So when I set the rack position, I bring this other hand around, I'll usually lift it a little bit, slide the elbow, change the angle here, and that locks it in. 